It's your boy J Chaos. Let me just make sure all my stuff is on. About to do a quick little check. And we're going to see here. Right. We should be live, baby. Yes, we are. Cool, cool. I'm going to just check to make sure all the audio and everything look good. And then we get it started. Right, um, so it's J Chaos or Zuko. I go by either or now. Um, I'm gonna start off with. Uh, let's just hop straight into it. I'm gonna do a Shaggy guide. Um, I am. I wouldn't say new to Shaggy, but um, I found out a lot of things that I know a lot of people aren't really abusing or knowing. And um, yeah, I just thought that it would be cool to make a Shaggy guide. Um, we're going to make a guide on all the characters that I currently know how to play. Um, just because they're lower level doesn't mean I don't know how to play them. I spend a lot of time in the lab, much more than I do play online. So, um, cool. Let's get straight into it. So, first things first with Shaggy is, uh, let's talk about these two perks here. So, one last Zoinks. I think it's a really, really good perk um, because of the fact that it you just automatically get it however with the way that this game works you can get it at times where you don't want it and it's like a one usage I myself I would say that this is the kinda go to perk for you you have to have this one on if you if you ask me what it does is it basically cuts off one second of your charge time and I'll kinda showcase that so All right, so if we were to count that right so one two Mississippi one Mississippi two Mississippi three Mississippi right so about three Mississippi right now you take that same thing and you got a sandwich in your hand and one Mississippi two Mississippi you see what I'm saying it takes off about half of a second or a second in my opinion um, off of your time which is really important because this game is a game of seconds and the reason why I say that you always want to have this one is because you get to basically charge it so much quicker you can always just dash out of it right after there's actually an animation that I use I use his feet once it does the fourth bounce I immediately uh, dash out of it so that allows me to know exactly whenever I can you know get out of that move so you can kind of like throw this grab another one you know and then one two three four and then immediately dash out right that's a really really quick charge to say you can just have it like that so if you ask me I would always use hangry man and then if you're trying to like master the character uh, just work on like knowing that exact frame whenever you can dash out I use his feet literally his feet like they do one two three four right on the fourth one that's when I dodge then I dodge straight out after that so yeah um that's really really important because that's a whole lot quicker than if you were to just do this one here like right that's that's you can feel that immediately so um and the only requirement for this perk is you just have a sandwich in your hand so you can throw it just pick another one up and then hold it and the reason why this is important is because the sandwich is actually really really useful not only as a projectile but it's also good for combo extensions and it's also good for like trapping it's also good for like anti-zoning as well so for example if you have a zoner you can like throw it and do something like that right so that's pretty cool um, but you can also use it for like combo extensions and stuff like that so that's also a really really cool thing um, and as far as like combos with Shaggy, a lot of people still haven't really broken into the character. A lot of people are saying this character is a trash character or like mid. I think this character is S tier because of the fact that people just really don't know how to play Shaggy just yet. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you exactly why I think he is S tier. He has a few things that no other character in this game can, well not no other character, that very few characters in this game can do. And the fact that it's off of such a good button makes him an immediate pressure character. So um really quick let's talk about like his his range right so number one this is a nice button it's okay it doesn't have great range but it gets the job done right and it it's a little three hit uh combo that always combos right and it gives you a little bit of knockback right it does about 11 damage so that's a really cool button and everything but it's not all that now you can do your forward one forward one and then you can do your up one 
um, and that'll give you this right here, right? It'll do less damage than the forward one, forward one, forward one, but it will still send somebody in the air. So for example, you know, they're on, you know, zero health right now, but let's say we put them up to 100, right? Then they'll get sent up flying and that's gonna be really nice if you wanted that. And same thing for that one. So just know that you can do that as well. Now as far as terminology before we get into this a little bit deeper. Um, I'm basically using uh, all of my normal attacks as one. So any attacks like in the game, like for example, all of these attacks, these neutral buttons, these grounded attacks or air attacks, these are all ones, right? So this will be one. This will be forward one. This will be up one. This will be down one. This will be two. This will be forward two. And this will be up two. And this will be down two. And if it's aerial, we'll just say air up two or whatever. Now, as far as neutral, I kind of use that word um, since we have one for for these buttons. I don't call these neutral neutral one or neutral two. I just call it one and two because whenever I say neutral, what I mean is like you can do a neutral aerial one or neutral aerial forward one, right? So that's a neutral aerial forward one because it's from neutral that I'm doing it, right? It's an aerial attack that's from neutral. And same thing as this one, same thing as that one, right? So these are all like attacks that are aerial attacks, right? But I'm doing it from the ground. So that will be a neutral aerial. Like this is a neutral aerial down one. That's the terminology that I'm using currently. So that way you guys aren't confused by that. Um, cool, now let's get back into it. So. Uh, from this move here you can charge it up it actually sends pretty pretty nicely so that's a cool thing that you have to uh, know about and then you have this move here this is actually your best button a lot of people say Sh Shaggy is like a trash character because he doesn't have range well this is actually like really really good range and it's deceivingly like slept on right like, the range on this is about right here right I can actually go back just a little bit more uh yeah right there so that's like max space right and um this is a really really good button not only just because of the range but you can actually combo into it right or you can do like a right and that's pretty cool now somebody be like okay well that's cool but shaggy doesn't really do damage actually that's a huge lie shaggy has amazing damage shaggy can actually like he has a lot of kill power and he has a lot of uh, in-depth tricks and stuff like that that works really well with him as well. Now let's start talking about his, um, this is his forward two, or basically this attack here. His killer instinct kicked. This is his really, really, really good move. Super, super good move. And then this move right here. This is your charge, right? This is how you get into your supercharge. Whenever you get into your supercharge, which is basically holding neutral the or two right you hold your neutral two this 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 button here what it'll do is it'll allow for you to have all of your normals to do um not normals all of your special attacks to have armor on them which is really really cool and it also changed the properties to them um and after you get rage your allies also get enraged which means they get a little bit of a boost as well um and not only that but shaggy can kind of do pseudo healing which is whenever you pop this move you can actually heal um your teammate or even your enemy if they pick it up um and if shaggy is raged and you do this move again he will actually dash to his ally making them enraged and releasing a blast that knocks away enemies and a lot of people do not use this and I'll just showcase what this what that means um, this is a really really good get off of my friend tool right so let's say you know you pop it over here right it's also just really good let's say you got sent across the map right Why is it not letting me charge to it? Oh. It's not letting me do it right now. But basically, it'll move you towards your ally. Um, and it'll be it'll be pretty cool. I'm going to try to... Maybe I just need to be closer. I don't know. Sometimes it'll bug out. There we go. Yeah, it'll do that. 
And that's really cool because not only does it allow for you to kind of move to your opponent, I mean your teammate, but it also kind of gives you a little blast, a little shockwave that can actually go ahead and um, hurt some enemies and get, get a combo linkage off of it. And what's really cool about it is the fact that you can kind of use this as a pseudo kind of tether. If you're like playing with the Ryan dog and he doesn't have his tether, he can just jump towards you and be like, all right, I got it, bam. So this is the reason why I say always use Hangry Man because that allows for your, allows for your charge to be really, really quick, right? Really, really quick. And that means you're always in this mode, which means you can always use this and you can always kind of deny people combos and you have armor while you're doing that move. So it's just a free get off of my teammate. So this is a really good move that is slept on. A lot of people do not use that part of his kit. Now let's talk about this move. Um, this is a really good, this is a really good up air and a lot of people doesn't don't know that like you can actually um, combo with it. Um, there, there are a few combos here that you can do with it, but um, if it's if you're in rage and you do this, um, see how I just healed the enemy there? Um, if you're in rage and you do this, you can actually whiff if you're too far forward. So if you're too close like this, you actually whiff sometimes. So make sure that you're like in front of the enemy because it, it'll, it'll hit hard, but if you miss that last hit, you're not going anywhere. Now, um, then you have your down, your down two, right? And this is a cool move. But it's kind of deceivingly not as good as people think it is, right? So this is a cool move, right? But um, the armor like stays, right? For the initial hit. Notice how it goes away right whenever you're about to land, right? You see how it goes away, right? Whenever the armor is there, that's letting you know that the uh, attack is actually... Um, the armor is active. But the moment you get closer to hitting the ground, it actually goes away. So you can actually like wait for him to almost hit the ground and then punish so it's not as good as people make it out to be but it's still a good move if people are in the air and they're like ready to like like hurt you or whatever and you use that to eat that and then you like ground them so that's that's cool and it also has a lot of knockback on it so it's a really cool move but if you have if you do that move in rage mode whenever you're glowing it'll actually do a shock back which is really really cool now um that's this move right here. That's basically what that is, right? Um, this is basically your sandwich. This is the move that we were talking about, right? And again, you can heal allies as it passes through them, which is again, that's really, really cool because you can simply heal your teammates. That's a really slept on thing that people are not using. Um, and if you throw this while you're in rage mode, you'll actually throw up, hold on, actually, you have to have it equipped first before you do it, right? And it doesn't actually cost you your rage bar whenever you use it, because once you use your uh, your special attack, right, it'll, your rage, it'll, it'll, it'll immediately go away. So you have to make sure that whenever you use it, you're, you're hitting, right, or you do it in a combo. But, unlike, um, unlike here, I can't do it. Um, you actually can't do that attack with Hangry Man because it consumes it consumes the sandwich. So you can only do this if you have this one equipped. But what you can do is you can kind of throw this for free, and it doesn't cost you your rage bar, right? So that's a really cool thing. But for the utility that it brings and what it does, it's not really that useful. So I still would never use it. But yeah, just letting you know that if you use the other perk, then you can actually throw the sandwich in rage mode and it becomes bigger and it doesn't take away your rage bar. So that's really, really cool. And um, this down one here, that's the power something one that we were going over first. That move breaks armor. And that's really, really, really cool. And not only that, this last part, this one is really, really important here. You can actually do this move to slow enemies, and it'll look like this. I'll show you what that looks like. A lot of people don't use this. That's a really, really good move, and it does a lot of damage. And again, this is your best button anyway, right? So it's just really, really good. And not only that, if they're high up on health, it'll send. So yeah, um, and it leads into a lot of good setups, right? And that's really cool. So... Um, just know that you can do that and cool so that's pretty much everything for his abilities and then let's talk about um, 
Shaggy's Rage. His special attacks hit harder, move further, and give him armor, right? And apply max stacks of weakening. And what weaken does is it basically makes them get knocked back further, they take more damage, basically makes them tragic. And enraged enemies will apply max stacks of weaken on their next melee attack. But enraged will be consumed afterwards. So he's a really, really, really good character. If you can keep your rage going, you can just basically always like have stacks of weaken on your opponent or your teammate you know putting it on their opponent and this is really really good because if your teammates use this perk properly you basically can be like a like a better batman um even though you're you know you don't have a cooldown on this and you don't have control over it like you would like to but um you still can you know use that pretty much as much as you want and i would say that shaggy has a little bit more utility than Batman. Batman's just a really solid character for what he does, but I'll make a guide on him as well. Um, but now let's talk about uh, what makes Shaggy good because just if you just looked at the moves that it's like, okay, that's cool, whatever, but Shaggy's like not really like a meta character because this takes forever, right? And you have to like kind of find space to do it, right? Um, so yeah, uh, sometimes I, I believe that people are a little bit too uh, simple-minded when it comes to Shaggy, right? Once you do it, right? Once you get your charge, say you um you pop it right with the three you can immediately like jump out of that or do the tech where you um do that right or you can uh do the other one as well you can just get out of there right and you can immediately follow that up with the dash so that makes this pretty safe to use even if you're in their phase now the mindset that you have to have whenever you're playing with shaggy is the mindset of like i'm trying to create space so i can like use this right and the cool thing about it is you can use it and you can cancel it right and a lot of people don't know that as well but if you actually like you cannot kind of save stacks right see what i'm saying so that's really, really cool. I don't know if that's a bug, but you can do that. You can save stacks. Hold on, let me, let me show it here. So like, right, and then throw a move. I just did it again, wow. <laughs> right, that's cool. That's hella cool. Um, like that, right? So that's really cool. So like, you can like use it immediately dodge use it immediately dodge and you see what i'm saying like you can kind of pseudo uh, with hangry man you can kind of make this a move that like you can like use dodge out of the way and then use it again right in order to get that quick charge so you can do one two one two and then it's immediately there so just keep that in mind as well with the rage a lot of people are not abusing the fact that you can legit have this up 24 7 um, a lot of people are saying shag is a trash character because of the fact that you can't really pull that off but you can actually with if you have Hangry Man equipped, you can just charge it, dodge out, charge it, and you, it's there, right? So, um, you can even do, like, just charge, move a little bit, and then do another one, right? And you see what I'm saying? Like, and it's just automatically there. So, just keep that in mind. Um, this is a move that you actually can have up as much as you want if you space your buttons properly. So, that's really cool. But, let's talk about why this character is such a good character. Um, it's not because of the fact that he has, number one, all of these attacks do five stacks a weekend and they hit really freaking hard and they send really freaking far and they hurt a lot, right? This is easy KOs, early game KOs, whatever, cool. But another reason why he's such a good character is because this is a really good down one. The hitbox on it is very generous, right? So it, it's a really, really nice hitbox, right? It's, it's pretty self-explanatory, but... It, it hits really really nicely right so like it's you see what i'm saying that's a really nice hitbox um i'll try to like max space this here hold on see what i'm saying that's that's really generous if you're above somebody you're going to hit them right see what i'm saying so that's a really 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 nice hitbox so it's a really good button this button it's not really all that i don't really use it that much but what makes it cool is um you can kind of like do it really really quickly right so you can kind of like 50 50 with it um which makes it kind of useful um so like you can do like that and if you let's say you guess wrong or they're not there you can do like that right so you can kind of like you don't get any knockback or any sort of like anything else from it but you can kind of do it really quick so it kind of lacks in knockback but it makes up for it in the ability to 50 50 right so you can kind of like 
or um, option select right so you can like do that and then do that as well so like you can kind of just track them see what I'm saying so yeah um, that makes that move pretty nice now let's talk about this move here this is a really good move because you can charge it and it sends really really far um, this is his aerial forward uh, forward one and that move that I was doing before that's his aerial up uh, one right so yeah and again you can do it from neutral like that or you can do it like this right now this move is good because I don't know if you guys can see that but like if you do that right you can do like that so you can land this move and then immediately like go into like uh, combos from it uh, let me try to get this done. like that you can do that with this move so if you're like if you put it up close you can get really really easy combos with it right? something like that or you can do something like this Oh, I messed it up. I knew it, the moment it is time to do combos in the game, it, it just never works for you like that. Right, so you can do something like that, right? Now, as far as like this button here, you can do that. And I'll show you why this is good because this is actually something that you can do in the game that combos. And what I'm doing is I'm doing up to, I'm doing neutral uh, dodge cancel to kind of cancel the animation right so I'm doing this canceling the animation and it only works on hit right that's the only way you'll get that to combo like that but you can do it cancel and then use it to combo right so that's really 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 cool right and you can just keep doing that right so that's really really good button right so you can literally get three of them if you use it properly and if they're high enough on health it'll be really 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 nice so just know that you can do that um, and that combos so you can kind of uh, do like easy linkages and stuff like that right and that really kind of helps them out but it also kills really really quickly you can kill well not quickly but you can do easy hit confirms right so if you land this you can just immediately do that that's an easy hit confirm and that'll kill at 85 or above right see I think it's 85 but in order to kill at 85 the timing is different but at 90 it's really easy let's see here One. Wow. and wow wow not everything's just gonna start happening there we go right so yeah um, that'll combo easy combo at 85 it doesn't link it doesn't do that on 80 that's where the cap is All right see what I'm saying it won't kill but on 85 it will so just keep that in mind um, and that's with mid characters or any light characters um, it'll kill now that's what me just doing the move itself right that's me not really like linking up anything see what I'm saying like right there I did it but it didn't kill it's because you have to like time this to where you get enough air to where it sends so sometimes you gotta let the animation sit then cancel last minute right so that way it'll send upwards uh, in combo right so cool um, yeah uh, that's basically his aerial up too that's a really good move um, it's just really really nice and it can kill really quickly and really easily and that's one of the reasons why I say Shaggy is a strong character because you can literally just sit there and like oh shoot I hit him cool and then hit confirm that and if they're anything above 85 or 90 if you time it right they can easily kill and you know you just send them flying and it's an easy hit confirm um, and you can kind of DI it as well right so um, it's one of those easy things to kind of uh, if the player like moves this way or they move this way it's one of those easy things right because of the way that the hit works like whichever direction you go it kind of auto automatically like shoots that way so it's really easy on di as well so that's cool um i would definitely get to using that move as much as possible now let's talk about some in-depth things uh this is going to be a little bit more of the advanced portion of this video um, Shaggy is a god tier character and I'm about to show you exactly why not just because he can do this right which is cool but because he has other tech right so um, number, number one, remember how we were talking about that this is his best button right well you can actually combo from it right 
right? And that all works, right? Or you can do all of that just works, right? And it works at every health, right? Because he's not they're not leaving the ground. So Shaggy is like the best like hit stun, like he has more hit stun like than uh, Superman. So like painted target on Shaggy it works really really well because all of this is hit stun, right? Right, all of that is hit stun, and that really helps you out, right? So that's really cool. But remember how we were talking about this move and how they has that second move that sends and it slows. That's really important because that can kind of do setups where um, things can like trap that wouldn't normally trap, right? So once you have the slow uh, debuff on them, you can do this, and you can do stuff like that. Now, um, what did I just do there? Um, whenever you do your forward two on the ground this doesn't work for aerials um if you do the aerial one it's not as fast but you it's still pretty fast but for the four two on the ground you have no recovery you can dash immediately out of it right immediately and the only other characters who really kind of have that is finn with his down one uh Hardly with her aerial uh, side too. Anytime a character has a button that's that good where there's no recovery on it, it means you can just automatically throw it out and there's no consequence to the move. Making Shaggy the best character and really S tier. Uh, I wouldn't say the best character, but he's S tier. He's S plus because of the fact that number one, this has range, stupid range, right? And the way that the timing goes for like dodging this move, right? It changes depending on how far you are away, so it can really throw noobs or sometimes just catch people off guard. But the fact that you can immediately, like, even, like, before the attack, even, like, you're just out of there, right? Like, the moment that it lands, you can just get out of there, right? So what this means is you can kind of throw it out and then, like, get out of there just like that. Now, just that alone, right? You can just throw it out and, and dip. Or you can do it and then do follow-ups where you combo off of it, right? right so you can even make this move like this right so let me put this on a person who doesn't get sent so far I'll show you just how powerful this can be right you see what I'm saying that was so much quicker that was before they could even you know what I'm saying that's really really quick and right you can just chase immediately right so um that's a really really powerful button that's a really really powerful button that alone right there makes shaggy one of the best characters in the game because not too many characters in this game can immediately cancel out of a move immediately right so you can literally just throw it out and then immediately just dodge like to make yourself safe so you can do this right so you can do even something like that right you just throw the move out and you're just safe right so um that's a really really cool like trick right and you can also do that as well again frame traps right that makes shaggy so oppressive the fact that you can just cancel out of this move right anytime you want you can use it for spacing you can use it for like setups you can use it for frame traps you can use it for uh footsies it's just a free like here take this move hold this and it's going to hit hard and if it hits you it has great knockback and at the same time like i'm extremely safe while i'm doing there's no consequence to this move. all right now at lower uh health levels it can actually combo um it combos all the way up to 35. um hold on one second all right so see that combos right there right and you can also do it with that one and you can also do it with um that one as well um, but it, it the timing for that one is a little bit different uh, I, I probably won't be able to get it now um, yeah I probably won't be able to get it now but just know um, I'll, I'll upload a side clip of the shaggy combos um, the timing for the for the linkage for the down one is pretty pretty like pretty tight but um, it does work um, there we go yeah so um you have to be really close like that so yeah um that's really cool because that allows for you to have follow-ups you can do this you can do that with it you can kind of do um oh, second here you can do something like this you could do that with it or you can just do this and then do a setup from there you can do 
literally whatever you want with this move, right? It's a really good move, but the fact that you can cancel out of it really quickly allows for this move to be god tier, right? See what I'm saying? Um, just a really, really good move. It has so much hit stun, so much pressure. Um, it's your best move on your kit. Now, just how you can do that for your forward, you know, too. It's like, alright, cool, well, that's just one button. That's not enough to make a character S tier, right? Well, you can actually do the exact same thing with this move as well, right? You throw it out and you can immediately, there's no animation. You can just throw it out and you're out of there, right? You're just out of there. So you can literally just like throw it out and just get out of there, right? And you're just sent, you're just sent, you're going, right? Cool. Um, another reason why I like it is because you can actually do this and that combo so you can do like a side switch so let's say if you're on the edge of the uh, map right and you hit them you can switch it over to the other side and remember how i said this move has knockback right so like if you hit them with that move that can actually like kill whenever people didn't expect it so that's like a high level sort of mechanic right and since this move it doesn't really ever send like anybody anywhere it doesn't have knockback on it it's it's just always going to like uh work oh, hold on let me get that Right, see what I'm saying? That'll send, um, and that's really, really cool. No one's doing that. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you guys all my tricks. I probably should like stop before like okay, people become better at shagging than me. Um, yeah, the way that I'm doing this is um, I'm basically I'm doing the move right, the down one. I'm doing a jump cancel, uh, or dodge uh, jump, uh, momentum jump. I just call it momentum jump, right? The momentum jump. And then I'm doing my button backwards like this. So I'm going this way, but I'm doing my button backwards. So it'll look like that. Um, I don't really know how to else to explain it. It's literally that's just what it is. You, it's a, it's not really a quick input. It's pretty self-explanatory in my opinion. So you do the move, and then you send them flying that way. So that is a really 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 good side switch. Because remember this move as well. It has really, really low hits on recovery, so you can send it and then do it immediately again, right? So it's another one of those moves where you can just, like, the moment you do it, you're just out of there. See what I'm saying? And that can really allow for a lot of pressure. You can even do something like this. You can do something like that as well. So there's so much that you can do with the character. See what I'm saying? Like you just you're you're super safe while you're doing these moves. Now this move as well. Um, once the animation finishes, you can kind of uh, get out of there. Now this is not like as fast as the other ones, but just know that it's a really good move for canceling as well. You can kind of get out of it the moment that the animation finishes. It's a really good multi-hitting move. I use it whenever you have. Um, Somebody with armor, for example, if you're trying to break their armor really quickly, you just jump on them. And uh, as far as how this move works, you whenever you once you find the spot that you want to land, stay above that, right? Don't keep moving with the move because you only hit it once. Now, you can just use it as like a travel frame, right? And then do that. So you can like do that, that, and then get back to where you want, right? And that makes it cool. But I would always recommend, like, if you wanted to use it for a combo, like, you do it and you stand still once you find the spot. If not, then you'll get hit. So now let's go back to what we're talking about. Now, we were talking about this move, right? So remember, this move doesn't really send them anywhere, no matter what their, you know, health is. So that makes it a really good neutral move, especially for combos, because you can do this, right? And that's, look, look at how high his health is. And no matter what their health is, this will, this will work, right? Never mind. Pretty high health. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it's... I probably shot it up too much. 15 maybe. Or maybe 110 or 105. I'm not too sure. So yeah, let's just say 105. Um, you can combo with this uh, move, right? That's a really good uh, move for early game. It's a really good move for late game. You can just get a lot of combo damage from it, right? Um, and remember how we talked about that, so you can do that as well. I'll try to get two of them here. And this actually does hella good damage. You can also do that as well. 
I don't think I'll be able to get it. Yeah, I won't. I, just go ahead in the lab and test it out because I'm not going to spend too much time on it here. Um, but just know that like this like works like for a good bit of time, right? Uh, a good while. So uh, just keep that in mind. Um, all right, and you can do that jump count. So you can actually do a. Um, I'll just do an example here. You can do that as well if you're trying to kill. It won't combo. It won't be a true combo like this one here, right? That's a true combo, right? Um, it won't be a true combo if you do it, but if you're trying to just reach, right? You can. And the way I'm doing it is I'm doing jump, dodge, jump, dodge, jump, dodge, right? So yeah, um, you can use that to kind of chase or like uh, do whatever you kind of want with the move. All right, but it sends so much that it's like really, really hard to kind of chase that. But just know you can do that if you would like to. Like that, right? So yeah, that's what that would kind of look like. Um, the time would have to be a little bit tighter. Like that, right? So yeah. Um, I know I'm not going over like how to do that. I feel like um, I don't really want to spend too much time because it's a shaggy guy, not a mechanics guide. Um, but yeah. Um, that's like Shaggy's best button here and just know that all that I'm doing is I'm doing a um, neutral dodge right so I'm doing this neutral dodge neutral dodge or what you can do if that's harder for you, you can just like hold down and then just press your dodge right and you can just keep doing that right so yeah um, that's a really really cool button um, it's one of his best buttons and again remember like I said you can just throw that out and then get out of there so you can just like literally spam this and just keep that active while you're doing it. and it breaks armor this is the reason why I say shaggy is S tier because this breaks armor see what I'm saying right and that's just easy like that's not hard at all to do right that's just that's an easy one so um right so yeah hella cool hella good hella good stuff and whenever you put this on lower levels then that uh 4-2 whatever you call it uh, actually works as well so on like 45 or something like that right hold on I gotta actually let that sit for a little while uh, I'll probably do two here Right, something like that, right? And that'll be a really, really nice way to just get some some good damage there. So, um, that's a really, really good thing about Shaggy. Um, and anytime you don't want to do that, you can like follow it up with this. Right, that also works. Right, adding a little uh, dash in between or this, you can do that as well. Um, there's just so much that you can do with this button. This is his best button, and the range is extremely deceiving like the range on this button is really nice it's a really good reaching button so um abuse this this is one of your best neutral moves and it has really 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 nice perks that go with it so yeah um just just look at that range that's it's a really good button and to say you can throw it out and get out of there right so that's really good so that's a really good button really 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 good button um, I do believe that that's like um, the majority of everything just know if you get this and you can like follow it up with um, follow it up with that right um, like as far as like linkages and combos and stuff like that once you get used to doing this like everything in the game just becomes easier once you know like what you can hit uh, hit cancel out of right you can just kind of like flow right you can just kind of flow with it, right? Once you get your dodge cancel game up, Shaggy becomes a really good character. Shaggy is a character where if you get your mechanics up or you get your timing up with the kit, then you can really, really start to shine where other people would struggle. And when you take all of that together, you really just get a super solid character that really can, you know, kind of do no wrong. And his neutral button here, this has armor, right? That's really cool. You can't combo off of it. It's just kind of like there. Once you hit, it's just there. Like, you see, you can't really cancel out of it pretty fast. But you can get some sort of, uh, like, pressure with it. Like, you can do some sort of frame trap, right? You can do this. 
you can do that, right? Or you can just like let it fly, wait a little bit, and then throw a, uh, a sandwich like that. Or you can just let it fly and then do something like that, right? Just know that um, it's not as fast as the other. So you can like kind of get some sort of extra, like whatever you want to call it out of it, right? So yeah, um, it is a really good button though for the fact that like you can like hit it and if it does hit, then it really does kind of help you out. Uh, with dealing with characters who kind of cheese you around a little bit and that's one of the reasons why I say Shaggy's a good character because I feel like he's a hard counter to uh, Iron Giant um, his sandwich can break right or like kind of interact with his projectiles and cancel each other out his rage sends Giant flying and it's really hard for Iron Giant to get out of that hitbox right even with his up to um, and his combos just all like work so much easier. You can like even if you're in attack decay, you can just keep doing that over and over and over and over again, right? And just keep doing that, right? And that'll send him flying. Um, that makes Iron Giant like your favorite food. <laughs> Literally, he's like he's like he's your sandwich at that point. Um, so yeah, I feel like he's a hard counter to Iron Giant, um, not only because of the fact that he can throw out really good buttons, and if it hits, which the chances of it hitting are really high you can just immediately get out of his animation so you can throw it out and just get out of there um, that's really 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 good with Shaggy and um, I do believe that that's pretty much like the gist of everything that I wanted to talk about I didn't go super in depth because I myself I'm still kind of uh, keeping a few, few tricks here um, there's a lot to do in the lab just remember that this move can send you can, like, chase like doing stuff like that um, you just have to read uh, player DI. And once you read that DI, you'll be able to get that where you want it to be at, and that'll, that'll be pretty cool. Um, just know, you like if you get your mechanics up with this character, this character just becomes immediately a, so much better of a character. Um, a lot of people say that Finn is like a really fast character. I would say because of the way Shaggy is playing right now, that Shaggy is a really better character, and I hope that the devs never nerf him because he's already a character who struggles uh, in the like eyes of like noobs and I don't want to see his like high tier gameplay nerf because it is really really good um, Shaggy's a slept on character I think he's one of the best characters in the game top top five whenever you know how to play him right um, again you can just kind of do that and then like you can even do this and then just get out of there right like all of his buttons just are really really nice like you could just get out really quickly Right, you can just move like how you want to move. Oh, buddy, you're you're really going in. Um, just know that like he has like really good movement as well. As far as like um his his jump, his jump's not really all that. That's kind of one of his downsides, right? Doesn't really send you flying like other characters, for example. Right, her 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 double jump like sends right. Like her jump is really nice and it gives you that little boost. But his is not really all of that. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's not like really good if you're trying to do like this, right? I mean, it'll still send you, but it's just not, you know, not as potent as other characters. But it is still a good move. So yeah. Um, by the way, if you guys are wondering how I'm doing that, I'm uh, doing a fast fall, and then I'm dodging forward, and so I'm fast falling. Right, and then I'm dodging forward after that, and it'll give you a little bit of a speed boost in that direction, right? So that's really, really cool. So if you fast fall and you dodge, you'll kind of keep some of that momentum uh, from the fast fall. So you can use fast fall as a way to like send yourself pretty far. And if you don't do it, you'll still get sent, right? But it won't be as nice, right? See what I'm saying? That's how it would be if you do that. You see what I'm saying? It'll just give you a little boost in that direction. You won't go any further. But the speed of your like timing, the speed of it will like go higher. So that's really really cool. And all I'm doing is doing a little fast fall before I do it, and then then going in, uh, I'm losing my stamina, so it's not going to show the case properly. But yeah, um, that's how you kind of counter your um, slow movement with um, with that move because this is like a really move, a really good move whenever you use the tech that I'm showing now right where you fast fall for a little bit and you use that momentum to kind of um, boost you into where you need to be so yeah that's pretty much everything that I have guys 
this is J Chaos and or Zuko. I do thank you guys for your time. I would recommend you get into the lab, start practicing with this character, start getting good with this character. This is an S tier character whenever you learn how to play him right. Um, and also you can do like stuff with sandwich, right? You can do like this. Uh, you can do stuff like that. And then you can like throw the sandwich. Like there's so much that you can do with the sandwich, right? The sandwich is highly slept on. You can use it as a reset. Like for example, if you know someone's gonna dodge backwards, you can do that as well. Or if you do this, like like do something like that, right? Um, you can do something like that. That's just so like his his range is actually like slept on, right? So um, just keep that in mind. Like Shaggy's a really solid character. Um, there's so much that you can do with this kit. There's so much that you can kind of do that the characters can't really do. I mean just that alone is that that alone is really really nice. And you can also do it with this one. Alright, you can do that and try to get a combo that way as well. Um there's so much you can do with this kit. I'll try to see here. Right, you can do that as well, but that would normally just like be like this anyway, right? So that's not really saying anything, but if you wanted to side switch, just know like he's a character who can like side switch really, really easily. And it just works. So yeah, um, it's J Chaos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's not really a traditional video where I like show you like everything or like everything like crazy about the character. Again, I didn't want to go over like game mechanics. That's like up for you to learn. Or if you can just watch like one of my previous videos, I talk about that stuff. Um, I do hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys practice, get in the lab, learn some more combos, learn what works at certain uh, health ranges, learn what you know what doesn't work and get in there and have some fun um the fact that this charges makes him a really 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 super good character because the more you charge it the more knockback it gives right like it just sends and it has a really good uh, it's really quick like this is a really quick button right so that's really really cool as well um uh, yeah all right that <laughs> that's cool right yeah, just know that like this character has a, like a lot of like tricks in his bag and stuff like that. Um, just get good with the character. Really, really like work on your mechanics, and if you do so, you'll be able to go crazy. Um, yeah. Right. Uh, I, I keep trying to see if there's anything else I, I'm forgetting on this character, but I don't think so. Um, we went over this this is that that alone makes him like god tier right that right there just make sure you abuse that because that's going to help you out so much you can use it and then cancel out of it and then just go crazy right and also um last thing here if you do do this move and you're in the stage the same thing right you can cancel at the end of the animation right so it's slower than the other one because you travel further which means you're stuck in it for a while but for all of those active frames see like see what i'm saying you're just, you're stuck there but you still can't cancel out of it it's just not as fast so yeah see what i'm saying so yeah um and it also is like that for this move as well all right so basically whenever you're in your rage you kind of sacrificed um sacrifice your movement for the ability to be able to go crazy however for your up to it's not like that at all but yeah um that's everything about this character this is a really good character for duos he heals your teammate he enrages your teammates he allows for your teammate to apply five stacks of weakened off of a single hit um that's really really powerful people are sleeping on this character he is a character that has the some of the best neutral in the game whenever you like look in depth into his kit um, and he has a projectile that he can just throw out n consistently if they ever made this like really quick like that would be really really cool but they haven't but just know if it does land you can pick it up again and throw it again right or you can just like use it to kind of like stay there right if it if it misses right like that you can just pick it back up and now you have another sandwich so it's a really cool 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 thing that's everything peace out jk chaos zuko